All right, you guys, I just want to talk about the update about Jelani Day. I don't know facts. I'm getting he say just like everybody else from a third party of different links, different news clips, different social media outlets. Um, in regards to Jelani Day, he was the young African male that was missing who had his credentials as being a doctor. He was still attending the college. I don't know if it was due to the fact that he was teaching there or he was getting a higher um, edu um, higher education to go with his credentials. Um, so the long story short, the story starts off when Jelani was known to be on time in class every day and all of a sudden came up missing um he had some ups and downs in the road with the teacher or with the dean of the school where they said something was inaccurate and he wanted to speak to them about it upon going to this meeting he never made it so that's the reason why i'm bringing that up because in my opinion you got to start off with everything so why who was he going to meet with okay what is it about was it a conflict was it something that he was in a disagreement with and they wasn't complying what was the point of that meeting okay and it was someone with the higher up in the school that he was supposed to meet in because he felt something was conflicting with what he was doing okay he never made it to that meeting um he came up missing for over a month the mom could not find him could have been longer than that this is what i remember come to find him it's conflicting stories and saying that the boy jaw bong was missing um they say eyeballs was missing all that he was found in a, a river so of course that does happen because sometimes fish do eat whatever they can unfortunately okay but then they said the organs was missing but we then you hear people saying no it wasn't then you hear people saying they don't even know the cause of death then you hear um people stating that it was suicide the moral of the story is watch your surroundings always let somebody know who you're going to meet where are you going? It's not a thing to act like you're scared in this world. It's just so that when something happened, they can find you easier. Like me, I'll get on here because at first I didn't want to say suicide. Um, we can't poke your eyeballs out one by one. Ooh, we, you can probably stab your eye, but to pull your own eyeball out, bless your heart. Okay. Um, but they did cause they did come to conclusion that, you know, well, maybe it wasn't suicide. Duh. <laughs> Duh. This boy was not in no type of situation that would classify suicide just like they did Sandra Blaine um, just like they did the boy Kendrick who was found wrapped up in the mat Google that Sandra Blaine Google Kendrick these are just some of the stories not all that's put out there and they always try to say with self conflicting theories of why these people came up missing or dead I'm not suicidal even through all the stuff that I'm going through the hatred I love myself so please do not ever hear so I'm not in no gang. I'm not gang affiliated because it's, it's, I don't take drugs. I'm scared of drugs. I don't even smoke weed because I'm scared of weed because I feel like it's going to make me choke to death. You get what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to let you guys know all these factors because when people like us speak up or go against the grain like I think this boy did, you get targeted. And it's sad to say that we can't have a voice. You got to let things happen to you and roll with it or you get targeted. Like I said, I feel like I'm being targeted just because I spoke up against a company that was doing me wrong. And then all of a sudden I'm in the program where now I'm being lied on and sabotaged and blackmailed and your own people will not believe you. So the moral of the story is, you guys, fend for yourself the best way you can because you can't do right or you can't do wrong. It's like they say, excuse my language, damn if you do, damn if you don't. A catch 22 he was probably just trying to do something right and mess with the wrong person it's called mess with the wrong person because people nowadays don't allow you to voice your opinion without having a rebuttal they feel you just do what i say and you know that's it jump how high that's it that's the world we live in today like even right now with the people that don't want to take the jab in my community there's some high profile people like police officers and firemen and it's sad because they're speaking out against not taking it and in my head i'm looking like oh man you're gonna be targeted why do i have to think like that because someone wants to voice their own opinion you're about to be targeted now because you didn't want to take the jab that's sad that we have to resort to this type of environment that we can't speak up without consequences and even if we are speaking our truth it's consequences it's just sad all right talk to you guys later like i always do
What do y'all think about that? If somebody has hardcore facts, please let us know so I can update it because I don't want to never report false information. That's not my intent. My intent is to give, give people the information that's needed.